you know, I had a, I went to this uh, liberal arts university where it was all about like, you know, being leaders for a new tomorrow, environmental harmony, and, you know, also, you know, tolerance and all this good stuff. And so I really, you know, I, and I radically and innocently believed in all these ideas from, um, as only someone young can, as it were. And boy, I just stressed the heck out of them. <clears throat> anyway, but so like, you know, one day, like, you know, I was talking to my um, academic counselor, you know, because everyone at that school had an academic counselor to hold your hand while you chose classes to make sure you fulfilled your requirements. And, um, you know, and he was, his name was Mario. Mario. And Mario was like, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, he was cool. And like, you know, he, he really helped me out sometimes. But he didn't completely understand me either. But what, you know, that's true for most people and most things, men or personally, it's not always, but he was there. And so anyway, um, so he and I had all sorts of interesting exchanges. And this one time, <clears throat> this one time, like I was saying that, you know, I, I couldn't, you know, believe, I didn't believe in an X. I don't know what we were talking about. And, you know, it might have been something like journalism and how I didn't think I could make a career in journalism in the future because it was clearly, it was coming clearer and clearer to me. You didn't really have unfettered license to report on the news, not particularly not in some publications. And, you know, he was saying to me that, that I, I, I didn't understand. He was saying that, you know, Dave, you have to understand that first you have to get yourself into a position of of real success and then you can start to change things he says like for example like like you you know you're one of the you know you're penniless you're you know you're one of the poorest students on campus you know first you're gonna have to like basically like get rich and then you can start talking about what's right and wrong i mean you know you know first you have to like if you join a corporation first you could just have to do whatever it takes to get to the top, and then you can start trying to be ethical. And I remember at the time that I just was crestfallen because what I interpreted that he was telling me was that I couldn't be a good person until I had become successful. And this just seemed so against everything I had ever been taught ever in life. I mean, you know, both my mother and my father were very ethical people. They were socially progressive people. They were like from the 60s. They were from that near generation. Everything we'd ever seen was documentaries about change and, you know, stories about the Holocaust, stories about the great battles, you know, stories about the Civil War, movies about this and movies about this. And not a single one of any of those movies do I ever remember anyone anywhere doing horrible acts of evil so that finally they could get to some certain plateau from which they could do good and it just never I mean I just was baffled I was confused I left the office you know my advisor less advised feeling and you know um you know, and he seems so sincere, and he seems so to believe it so much, and yet it just left you up this blind alley as far as I was concerned, because in a way he seemed to me to be saying that, like, I would have to join an oil company and champion fracking and become a multi-billionaire based off the destruction of the environment and the loss of people's lives, possibly irremediable damage done to the earth, so that then I could say that fracking was wrong. And so that's when I realized that, you know, this school was just, I don't know what it was or what anybody wanted, but they were always telling me that, you know, socially I couldn't get anywhere because I didn't have the social weight to actually make anything matter. But the way you made things matter was by completely contradicting your beliefs. And so, you know, I'm just trying to say that, you know, I guess you could boil it down to the ends justify the means, you know, sort of thing, but, you know, I chose, rightly or wrongly, to do good with my life now. 